Hinga til okkar er komin hljómsveitin Sigurmólarni. in English. The first okay. time we went abroad, it's just stupid to sing in Iceland that people don't understand it. Mm -hmm. It's uh, so we just translated as well as we could, and and that's what we always done. We sing in Icelandic in Iceland, mm -hmm. and English in in Britain and the States and Canada and American in the States. <laughs> What about when you go to Japan? I don't know. We, t we try to sing in French when we were in France, but we're not very good in French. No. You, especially when you come from a place which, um, like Iceland, and only 250,000 people in the universe speak your language. You sort of, you must be pretty stupid not, not learning English. Yeah, that's probably true. You, you would be sort of helpless. Do you think the world will ever be ready for an Icelandic language record? It, it, I, I still think it's, it's quite good that it, it is one language that everybody can speak, you know, mm. like English. I mean, it's always been like that. Mm. 500 years or something, it was Latin, and 200 years later, it was French, and, and so... <laughs> Did you come to um, England as a little girl ever? I mean, did you know? When was the first time you left Iceland? How old were you? I was nine years old. Okay. So you travel some. Are you going too far away? I went to Norway with my grandparents. And then did you realize how far away Iceland was? Well, it's not that far from Norway, but did it make you want to travel and see more of the world? Yeah. We, uh, I think all of us had travelled a lot before all these things started with the sugar cubes. So uh, three of us had, had, well actually four of us had lived for some period abroad. Um, oh really? Did you? No, not me. Does, um, does Aina write the parts that he sings? Yeah, I, I just write what I do, that's all. And then he and then he fills in whatever compliments or maybe? It's both way around. Uh, sometimes he starts with an idea mm -hmm. and it's, it's, it's like 50-50. Uh, um, it usually starts with me making the, uh, the vocal line, the, the melody, mm -hmm. and then it's 50-50 um, what happens with the lyrics, who starts. Mm -hmm. That's whatever the mood is. Where do you typically write? Do you all have a rehearsal studio? 
Well, we had about 500. It's very difficult <laughs> to have a rehearsal studio in Reykjavik. Yeah. It's just a small place and, and yeah. people don't like the noise. You want to try a little song? And the reason we all got together is not because we like each other's tastes. It's because we like each other as, you know, friends. But firstly, we, we realize when we're playing live that we're, we're not imitating our records. And, and secondly, we, uh, we realize that no two concerts can be the same. And here today, tomorrow, next week is also an optimistic complaint. It has a lot to do with the last two years or so. We've been traveling really, really fast, seeing, you know, half of the world. And we, what, the, what we've been seeing is basically just the biggest cities in the universe. We haven't seen countryside or stuff, because they don't have stadiums there yet and stuff. So here today, here today tomorrow, next week, means that the world is, is just unresistible and is going incredibly fast and we just love it and it's an optimistic complaint. Ja, Show, Mensch, Ja, Show, Mensch, Ja, Show, Mensch,